there, welcome to a, another video. Now today's video is gonna be about, um, about blanking, about not catching anything and uh, little things you can do. Now, I've gotta be honest, I'm not gonna take the credit for, for what I'm gonna be showing you. This is from fishing with somebody, well, I'm really grateful that I go fishing with him, lucky to go fishing with him, who really does know his stuff and the only reason why he knows that stuff or he's got that knowledge is probably the same in any endeavor he does it all the time he practices he keeps he knows what he's doing. he practices he knows how the sea works it's just just the way it is and in this video because i've actually got some live footage at last that camera that little bloody camera where is it this little thing if you knew how much aggro i've had with this it's it's quite straightforward, but it's just silly little mistakes I've made, like, um, you know, not pressing the record button, or one night, I mean, because of a couple of the times I hadn't caught anything anyway, I'd filmed it all night anyway and talked on it, you know, like, like you do, but the, the sound's pretty crap on this. Anyway, the ultimate time, when I actually went, and I went with the bass man, I'd got down there, I thought I'd filmed everything and realised I hadn't put that bloody card, that bloody card back in, the SSD card, because I had bought this contraption, well, not a contraption, this uh, USB thing that actually, um, that actually you put the card in. <laughs> it's, it's like a little fish. It's like you put the card in and plug that in, and that way you can download the video straight into onto the uh, onto the computer, which is great. So we've got some live footage. This is a little bit about blanking and about what you can do you know, finding the fish, because it's a nightmare, isn't it? It can be bloody hard work. This is basically for people that are new, you know, that, that aren't struggling to catch anything and haven't actually, uh, you know, haven't actually maybe not even caught a bass. So this might give you a little bit of insight what, what you might have to do to, to uh, catch them fish. Let's get into the video. So we actually um, got down there about about 8.30 in the evening. We was um, obviously going to be fishing fishing the low tide, fishing the ebb, fishing it out. I think low tide was about, oh, Jesus, about about 10.45. Yeah, so obviously we'd, we'd got there, well, a bass man actually got there a little bit before me. He got there about an hour before me and... Um, Obviously, you can see the water looks pretty good. It is quite murky, to be honest. And you see there's a little white patch there right in front of me. Do you see that? Now, looking down into that water, I thought it was, was quite deep because you can see there's another little island out there. Now, the bass man had... I'd been fishing about three quarters of an hour from that little bit. And the bass man had... Um, he'd had four while I was... Four. And all the time he had, you know... He kept saying to me, you've got to get out to that little island. Well, I just did not like the look of that that little patch. You can see it down there. Anyway, this is what I say. It's important to move around. Now, if he hadn't have been there, I would have stayed on that island probably until it had all evaporated away. But the thing is, Bassman had been there an hour before. He had already found the fish. He had already got out right out where he is. I mean, I would have... I could have probably got, could have probably gotten out and thinking about it, looking back at it now, but I didn't. I bottled out, and the reason for that was because I've fallen over about five times before over the years, and geez, it's not a very really nice experience. And the reason why that had happened, it was because I'd been following the bass man going out to these little marks and looking for the fish like like he does, and. Um, not concentrating on my, on my footing, even though I was going slow, it's been night time and that, and I've actually slipped over. So um, now you can see I've actually made my way across. I'd, I'd uh, taken the leap of doom. It was absolutely nothing. It wasn't even over my waist, to be honest, but it just looked really, really deep. And like I said, I didn't want to risk, you know, 
slipping over arse over tit I've done it before like I say it's horrible my missus actually saw me running across the road in my pants once when I'd only been gone about half an hour fishing because of that it was an absolute nightmare so now I'm on the new little spot where the bass man said come on come out to this little bit and then blow me down would you believe it within sort of like a minute no no less than a minute you know it just couldn't make it up i was bang look i was in straight away now it's only a little fish when it actually gets there it's only a little fish but it doesn't matter it's not the point you know i could like i said i could have stayed back where i was and not caught anything this is what i'm saying it's so important to move around if you're not catching anything i mean so, so many things can go against us in uh in uh, lure fishing for bass like the weather and you know but the weather can be bad the condition can be bad but it still don't you know it still doesn't mean to say you won't catch anything you can still catch something but you could have the greatest conditions in the world and still not catch anything do you know what i mean so uh anyway there's the little there's the little bass and a little one i don't give a shit it made my night to be honest you know to catch something i mean i had caught three that three the night before that was a different scenario because the wind the wind direction was in the east which is normally pretty bad for us for lure fishing but we found a little spot around this mark not the same bit it was a little bit further round that the wind was behind you it was absolutely brilliant so the water's clear we know where the fish were so that's what you get when you when you you know you look around and that you know you uh move on so that was that little fish i didn't actually catch another one there not in that location anyway the bass man had he'd had four but the night before he'd had seven and i said it was exactly the same thing i just i just wouldn't move i was happy he kept saying come on you've got to come over here this was it you know obviously another bit but I wouldn't, I just was so stubborn, I just thought, oh, fuck it, I'll get one in a minute. And I didn't. And then as soon as, sure enough, as soon as I moved over, bang, I got one then, that the night before as well. So now what happened was we finished fishing here, we moved over. Look, first, my very first cast, this is in another location, straight in again. I mean, not, not the biggest of fish, fish, but it doesn't matter, does it? You know, we'd moved off that other bit because... Because the wind had got up and the water had cloud, it just wasn't, it wasn't really, it wasn't fishing as good, you know what I mean? So, um, this was my, uh, second fish of the evening. My second little bass. I'm quite pleased to be honest, you know, it's nice, it's nice to get a couple of fish, especially when you, you know, I'd had four blanks on the trot. You know, you don't need that. And there's quite, uh, cause the other important thing is, is tide run. Really, that's another important issue. So, you know, but it doesn't mean to say if there isn't any tide run, you're not going to catch fish. But if you're not catching fish when there isn't any tide run, you've still got to move around. You know, it's, that's the way you find the fish. It doesn't mean to say you're definitely going to catch anything, but you're probably going to increase your chances. You may even end up going where you, where you started fishing in the first place and catch fish. But, you know, you never know what, what's happening in this in this uh Bass fishing. Now you can see it's getting a lot, lot darker now. We've, uh, we're still in the same position, but you don't get long on this actual bit. You can get, you can actually get cut off by the tide and nobody bloody wants that. I certainly don't want that. Look, Bass Man's just got another one. That's a little bit bigger than the one I just had. So they are definitely getting bigger. Yeah, I think that was his, um, I don't know, probably his 10th to my two at the moment it's bloody annoying isn't it but he had caught that on the tackle house vulture we, i mean not the vulture the tackle house feed shallow whereas uh i had caught mine on the on the vulture now we, oh, this was my last fish of the evening this one was this one was a bit bigger this was caught on the kimono two which i'm quite pleased about the old my joke it's my favorite lure out of the lot and that's basically it Right, that's the end of the uh, the live footage with my camera that's been driving me absolutely bonkers, to be honest. Uh, I was just really, I mean, wasn't the most prolific bass fishing uh, session in the you know, I mean, there's a lot bigger bass in the sea than, than what we call. All it is, all that video is for is just to show, you know, how we would, how, you know, to go about locating the fish, even regardless of the... Um, the conditions like i say you could have the greatest conditions in the world and still not catch anything even if you are moving around but that's just you know you're trying to increase your increase increase your odds of catching anything obviously tide run and 
weather and water clarity or it just might not be no fish it's just the way it is you know um what other things is other thing is it's quite important you, you don't have to wade in the water i mean if if the bass man wasn't there i probably wouldn't have gone in i would have probably stayed on the rocks if I, especially if i was on my own because it's not worth taking any risks you know what i mean if you're with somebody and you you want to try it you know i'm actually going to get myself one of them wading sticks to um to actually just just to check you know what i mean another uh, little tip i would say is if if you were thinking of doing that that method and, and wading out a bit and finding your way around or whatever i would um go down at the lowest part of the tide you know right on the low tide and just check what you're what the, you know that you're not going to get out of your depth anywhere because some places I tell you, there's other rock marks around here that if you stepped off the wrong bit you're going to be out of your depth and you don't want that you don't want to fall over believe me, you don't want to fall over it's a nightmare anyway uh is there anything else i would like to say oh yeah just make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and uh don't forget to visit the website if you if it's if this is new to you this this uh you know the channel and that you know there's a free ebook on that channel anyway so anyway thanks for watching see you later